in about 1987, I started working at the local showbiz pizza place. It was normal at first, but then some strange things started happening at the restaurant that I worked at. I don't know if it was just me or other people, but I saw some pretty weird stuff that I'm gonna document in this video. The first strange thing that really ever happened to me was I was at the prize counter where children would punch in their tickets and give them to me to, you know, get prizes and stuff. And uh, out of the corner of my eye when a kid was talking to me, wanting a big doll that we had, I saw the Billy Bob animatronic glitch out oddly. And when it did, he reached out his hands and there was a kid in front of him. He grabbed the kid and yanked him on stage. And then the curtains closed. I, to this day, don't know what happened to that kid. But all I know is that the Billy Bob animatronic shouldn't have been able to reach out his arms or do any of that. The second odd thing that happened to me is when one day when I showed up to work everything seemed perfectly normal in the morning that is until closing time when it was closing time I was the last person in the restaurant because I was required to turn off all the lights at the end of the day for that specific day and when I did the Billy Bob animatronic eyes went black I went over to touch its eyes to make sure it was doing all okay because for some reason they hadn't closed the curtains, but his eyes wouldn't open. And then the rest of the band's eyes were on me. I don't know what happened, but then the Billy Bob sprung to life and I, well, I ran away. That's, that's kind of all that happened. I still don't know what, why that even happened. The third odd thing that happened to me is very short-lived, but the uh, Looney Bird animatronic was popping up at different places. Kids said in the bathroom, a Looney Bird animatronic would pop out of the toilet and try to bite them for being on his stage. And one kid said that the Billy Bob animatronic was in the bathroom. When he tried to go, he, well, killed his friend. After I was finished saying all of this, I went to go look for the showbiz pizza place. It obviously closed down, but it wasn't turned into a Chuck E. Cheese's left abandoned. I rung the thing on the phone, said who the manager was and all the employees. Of course, I was on that list. I looked and the manager told me he had dismantled the Billy Bob and sent it off to some company, but for whatever reason, a lot of the companies wouldn't take it. I wondered why.